Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to the enchanting town of Aspen, where the air is thick with anticipation and the biting chill seeps into the bones of its inhabitants. The Winter Festival is upon us, a time of celebration that masks the undercurrents of sorrow haunting this community. Picture the town square, bustling with life, yet dominated by a magnificent ice sculpture. This towering figure, draped in flowing robes with a sorrowful mask, captures the essence of Aspen's collective grief. Crafted by the townsfolk, it stands as a haunting reminder of their shared past. So, buckle up as we dive into this tale of mystery and magic, where whispers of ancient spirits dance like snowflakes in the wind. Now, this reminds me of a scene straight out of a fantasy novel. Lila stands at the edge of the town square, her bright blue eyes reflecting the glimmering ice sculpture. Her long, flowing white hair shimmers in the cold light, contrasting starkly with the darkened sky above. It's as if Lila herself is a beacon of hope amidst the encroaching shadows. As she gazes at the intricate details of the sculpture, she feels a stirring within her, a connection to something ancient and powerful. The whispers of the winter spirit, long thought to be a mere legend, dance around her like snowflakes caught in a gentle breeze. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. Lila's connection to the spirit is more than just a feeling. It's a call to action, a challenge to confront the fears buried within the town's history. Enter Ethan, tall and athletic, with a warm smile that falters as he catches sight of the sculpture. The weight of his family's expectations hangs heavily on his shoulders, a burden he struggles to bear. It's beautiful, isn't it? He whispers, his voice barely audible over the festival's laughter. Yet, beneath his admiration lies a flicker of jealousy, a feeling that Lila's connection to the spirit sets her apart, a reminder of his own inadequacies. The townsfolk gather, their laughter mingling with the cold air, but Lila senses the tension simmering beneath the surface. Children dart around, their innocent joy contrasting sharply with the solemnity of the sculpture. As the festival commences, Lila feels the spirit's presence grow stronger, a palpable energy that sends shivers down her spine. The ice sculpture, a symbol of their grief, seems to pulse with life, hinting at the awakening of something long dormant. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting an eerie glow over the square, Lila's heart races. She can feel the spirit's call, a challenge to confront the fears that lay buried within the town's history. The air crackles with anticipation, and Lila knows that the night will not pass without consequence. The whispers of the past are growing louder, and the children of Aspen will soon be forced to face the shadows that have haunted their community for generations. Yeah, you thought it was over, think again. This is just the beginning of a journey that will test the courage and resolve of Aspen's inhabitants. So stay tuned because the night is young and the story is far from over. And remember, if you enjoyed this chapter, don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller for more thrilling tales.